Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Is that working? Is that is that on? Alright. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. This time I'm not in my PJs in the middle of my living room. I'm at the world famous frame and picture shop. Right here in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Come see me. Bring money. So uh, I, it's back to, you know, business as usual. So I thought I would um, open some stuff that's just been sitting around. Uh, this is actually brand new stuff. I got, I got a skids, I got uh, a drag strip. Do you ever think you'd get tired of combiners? I'm like, all right, you, you, we got it. You, you made combiners. Okay, let's get some British characters in there. This is exciting. This is the G2 Laser Optimus Prime. Oh, you know I'm gonna get that add-on kit whenever somebody makes it. This is this is less exciting, but still necessary. This is the Galvatron reissue, but it's it's clean. There's no battle damage, there's no grit, grime on it. It's a clean deco. Nice, nice. We'll we'll see if we get to that. I, I don't know if we'll get to that. But then there's this, and I forgot who was in this. This this might be Nemesis Prime. I, I oh my god, it's I really just it spoilers inside. Funny how none of the characters are really who they say they are, or as relevant as you would imagine. Once again, we have the uh, black Play-Doh. That black Play-Doh is gonna absolutely dry out. But there's always something hidden in the Play-Doh, which is annoying. It makes you open the Play-Doh. The Play-Doh has no relevance to the story. It's not like they land on a planet of goo and this represents the goo. No, it's just Play-Doh. I'm just trying, like, look, I'm just trying to understand the, the marketing you know, walk me through it. All right, we're gonna put characters in a non-window box. We're not gonna tell anyone who they are. So it's gonna be a surprise, yes. But there's a surprise and a surprise, oh? Yeah, we're gonna put a little thing of Play-Doh and inside the Play-Doh is gonna be another surprise. I love it. Why do we need the Play-Doh? Is it part of the show? No. But it's gonna add cost to the production of it, yes. So I had an idea similar to this back in the old Bakon days when Bakon was Bakon, not the abomination it is now. And I thought, and Brian Savage was, was correct to chastise me for it. I thought, hey, wouldn't it be funny, so apropos to get like a bar of soap and then put like a, uh, like a cyber planet key inside of it. So you gotta use the soap to get to the cyber planet key. All right, so we've got, um, looks like some blast effects and the little cube from the game. All right, like the game that they play in, in the Cybertron show, in the War for Cybertron show, that's, um, that's a legit game. There's the ball for it. Some blast effects, which are cool. Why is it in Play-Doh? I mean, might as well just put it in sand, you know? All right. Oh, I know who this is now. All right. We've got Megatron and... Skelivore. 
Obviously it's purple, like Skeletor. So let's call him Skelevor. It should have had a yellow face. I mean, the silver does go well with that Megatron though. I will say that. What's uh, neat about this, he's got that little matrix that he can strap to his chest. I think that was in the show. It's been a long time since I, since I saw it. Man, these fossilizers. You know, it's weird that the fossilizers that I really wanted never made it into production. You know, the alligator, fossilizer, and then there was like a, you know, a polar claw. He never made it in there. So this is purple T-Rex fossilizer, you know, purple dinosaur, angry Barney, uh, Megatron from Beast Wars. So could be a callback to that. Sure, why not? It could just be purple for Energon, okay. Purple is a Decepticon color. It just, it's a Decepticon color, that's all. That's all it is. It's a Decepticon color. There he is, yay. You know, I never thought I'd get to a point where I'm like a little annoyed that there's a, an RC, there's so many RCs. Oh my God, look at all the RCs. Here we go with combiners again. But I, I kind of feel the same way about some of those tier A characters, you know, Optimus, Bumblebee. Oh, Bumblebee, Jesus. You know, I kind of feel like, you know, we, we get a lot of them. Can we have a wave that doesn't have those characters in it? Like, doesn't have a Starscream in it? Doesn't have a Bumblebee or an Optimus? Some of the, some of the choices they've been making have been, just, you know, hitting it out of the park. Great. Hey, we're getting, you know, leader class Dinobots. We're getting all of them eventually. Great. I'm there for that. Just, um, you know, slow it down. Slow it down with the Optimus. Now, if they were all like that G2 Optimus, you know, uh, callbacks to previous figures, psh, well, I'd be all over that. You know, give me a GoBots Optimus from G2. I'm there for it. Absolutely. All right. Oh, there it goes. That's how you do it. You know, half the fun for me is not looking at instructions. Come on, get in there. Well, I mean, I got the top ones. I mean, if it, if it worked right, I'd be like, yeah. We'll just put that to the side. Arm cannon, check. Bucket head, check. Silver, check. Japanese inspired sword, check. Overall, the War for Cybertron, that, that's what it, it will always be War for Cybertron. All right. It will, it will always that will always be the name for me you know war within it will always be that it's a good megatron it's a good head sculpt it's a good megatron i feel like we've had enough of him though like you know i see you another megatron to add to the to the to the pile you know, this box is just like, I just don't, I just don't know what you're trying to do. Oh, and the plate, oh, the Play-Doh, Jesus. Oh, just enough with the Play-Doh. Enough, enough with the Play-Doh. We get it, we get it. 
Oh, it gets everywhere. I don't, I'm not even keeping this bag. I'm just going to throw that bag out. And I don't even think Megatron can hold this. This is more of a Bumblebee accessory. Some little, some little blast effects. Raw, some little blast effects here from Megatron. Do they even fit? You're kidding me, right? Like, do these not fit anywhere? Oh, well, I guess that one can go there. Oh, it's got the little, it's like trying to find Minicon ports, you know? I guess, I don't know, it doesn't fit. Maybe he'll, you know what, we'll just put it in the cannon. And that's, that's how we'll do that. I am curious about that skit. So we're gonna get to this. So something that bothers, obviously there's no plastic covering here. You can just touch the figures. Don't go stealing heads off figures. That's just so destructive. That's not necessary. You don't need to do that. All right. And we're gonna pause because I have a customer coming in and we will resume in a few minutes. Okay. All right. You know, just people want to come in and spend money. I can't help it. All right. So we got skids. Yeah. Um, don't steal the heads off these, whether it's LeBron or Bulkhead or Blue Streak. That's just, you know, wh what are you accomplishing by doing that? What are you, what are you trying to say by doing something destructive like that? Some unknowing parent or grandparent is gonna buy it and be like, the kid's gonna be like, it's missing a head. And then they're gonna take it back and they don't have any more, but that's the one the kid wanted and you're just gonna give the kid a bad day. The kid's gonna have a bad day. So don't, don't be that person and steal a head off it. All right. Wow. Never thought we'd get, you know, never thought we'd get an IDW skids. Never thought we'd get Masterpiece skids in all his various colors. But here we are with now another skids. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anything is possible. I really do mean it. Anything's possible. We got a Lego Optimus Prime coming. Anything is possible. Boy, this guy's joints are super tight. Super, super tight. He's got G1 inspired weaponry. I like it. You know what these guys are missing? That's it. I figured out the final key. You know what these guys are missing? Rub signs. Yep. They need little rub signs. They need stickers or paint here on the shins. And we got some kind of Energlow weapon. I think this combines with something else to form something else. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, and I don't often transform things on the show. Oh. That is a nice touch though. The wheels fold underneath like the G1 skids. Totally unnecessary. I wouldn't have noticed it until I was transforming him. Nice touch, nice touch, well done. Character selection for the most part has been on point. I remember I had the G1 skids when I was a kid. I remember opening him in the mall. My mom and I were having lunch somewhere and she bought skids for me and uh, I was opening him at the table and I don't know what happened to his weapons. I never had them. Weapons just kind of disappeared. Bags with stickers just kind of disappeared. 
and this guy's joints are so tight I can't even get his legs down. Oi, what's going on here? There we go. There we go. Not quite. Oh, there we are. You really gotta just kind of like force it in there. It's tight. It's tight, yeah. Roll test. We got a tire not making contact. Ooh, it's. Ooh. And I see all these tires move. These plastic tires, which are abominations. But this one, it's not. It's just on there too tight. Good size for a deluxe. Recently saw that price point will not determine size. The features, the, the parts, the amount of transformation inside of the toy will determine parts, will determine what price point it goes into. So it could be a deluxe size toy in a Voyager box. But if you compare that deluxe size toy to other deluxes, you'll see that it's got a lot more parts to it. All right, Laser Optimus Prime. It's actually called Laser Optimus Prime. I love it. Ooh, it's tiny. I mean, that trailer is really tiny. Oof. 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 That is, it's a leader class toy, I get that. But there's gotta be something between leader class and Titan. Uh, that is, you know, they want to sell us a $700 trailer for Robitussin Prime. You know, I, I pay, I would pay 70 bucks uh, for a trailer just to be the right size. Uh, Alright, I'm all about this trailer. I'm interested in it. I want to know if it's got the same... I'm going to look at the... Oh, 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 oh no. That's not bueno. It's got a little, little hinge there. I mean, yeah, there's definitely going to be need for an add-on kit. Oh, so that does... That can come off this can come off. Oh, that just does that. Oh, it's even smaller than I thought. Uh, so that, that can go there. Yeah, third party do your thing. Third party powers activate form of an all-new trailer. Just give me an all-new trailer, third party. This looks fine. Roll test. Rolls. No problem. Nice size. Not as tight as skids. Skids, skids, you know, you could say there's something, it's a little too tight. If there is such a thing. I'm gonna figure this out on my own because I'm a big boy. I 
I'm a little tired today. I got up early, had to watch Obi-Wan. You know, otherwise I can't, otherwise I can't use Twitter. All right, arms, stop messing with me. Look, I, I understand that parts are supposed to pop off. They're pressure fits. You know, you, you want them to pop off so that kids can, you know, put them back on, but. It's got a fake grill, fake stomach grill. That's an interesting, that's, this is, this is like uh, third party engineering here. Like it's like, you wouldn't expect a, a transformer transformer to, to work like this. Wow. All right. I'm pretty happy with that transformation. That's, that's pretty clever. That's wonderfully clever. Yeah, I need his big blaster, not not some kind of Energon Axe. Bullshit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm digging this. It's got a little matrix of leadership in there. All right. You know, the panels are, there's panels here that allow for articulation. You know, we, I call those drift panels. If you know, you know. Pretty cool. Oh, look, 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 see that to me says, see that's what a third party would do. They would have these little blaster doors open up for no other reason. Makes you wonder if they're drawing inspiration from somewhere. Makes you wonder. Um, this is great. This is a this is a great figure. If they sold just this, I'd be like, yeah, this is great. This, this, this is not great. Not not so great. Oh, that one popped off. All right. You know, interchangeable, great. You know, very nice. That stuff's needed. You know, you got the double barrels here, but it's round because it's got to fill in with the silhouette of the trailer. Um, size comparison, pretty good. I like my Megatrons to be a little, little bigger, you know, look strong. Optimus has to rely on the power of Will and love in case Will's not available or he's out with his girlfriend or something. I dig it. I mean, I dig it. This is great. This, this is a great figure. This is a great figure. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know about that, man. 
Hey, we're gonna put the little blast effect on him. Boom, oh, I got shot in the arm. I got shot in the arm, I did. All right. Um, I'm in the mood to open one more thing. Usually I leave something for, oh, yeah, we're gonna leave the Galvatron. I'm not gonna open the Galvatron. Y'all seen the Galvatron before. I don't even know why I'm so careful opening this. I'm just gonna, I got another one that's sealed at home. That's all, Recy recycle, recycle everybody, recycle. So we have a very cartoon inspired deluxe drag strip. While I was at Hasbro, we could not use the name drag strip because it had the name, it had the word drag in it, and then it had the word strip in it. True story. A piece popped off. Yeah, couldn't use the name drag strip because it had the word drag and it had the word strip in it. We couldn't use breakdown because our toys don't break down. True story. Couldn't use Motormaster, we didn't have the rights, but now they do, so that's a win. You know, just again, I say it all the time, change of direction makes anything possible. Get the right people who, who it's, hey, it's not just a job, it's a legacy. Those are, those are the ones that make stuff like this happen. So kudos, kudos to you guys. I tore the box so bad I can't even see what what he's supposed to turn into, what he looks like. Yeah, this one's this one's not as intuitive. <laughs> uh, the power of combiners. Uh, there we go. Oh, maybe it does. With that, and then there, and then the seat, and then, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Very nice. Very clever. Very, very clever. Very clever. Now, for these legs. And so ends another exciting episode of Cut the Tape. I'm your host, Rick Alvarez, here at the world-famous Frame and Picture Shop. You got pop culture stuff you want framed? Come see us. You got pictures you want framed? Come see us, too. You want me to put this in the shadow box? I don't know why you would want that. I mean, I'll do it, but you better bring money. Anyway, thank you so much. Remember to wash your hands, wear masks where appropriate. Get your boosters and always find time to cut the tape.